can with great conviction instruct Anna's men in diction that Anna show. I'm Sean LaRona. And I'm Randy. And welcome to How to Be the Greatest Filmmaker of All Time. In five minutes, hopefully. The first thing you need to learn about filmmaking is... Get a camera. <laughs> I'm being serious, Sean. If you're seriously investing in a camera, uh, it's worth it. Uh, and these are actually some cameras that you should check out if you're going to invest in a camera depending on your budget. Yeah. Always plan for a rainy day. I don't know why, but every time I schedule something, there's always rain. Speaking about planning, pre-production or PP is actually one of the most important parts of filmmaking. Not procrastinate when it comes to planning. I have a storyboard ready, I have shot list, and we just check it off the list until we're absolutely done. I would say weeks in advance before you actually start filming your project, um, list things like uh, what, you, what equipment you need, what props you need, who are the actors that are gonna take part in your film or short video. I make sure that I know when my actors are free, I know how long we have to get something done. Uh, and normally it's a very short amount of time, so I try to have everything planned out in a way that like, as soon as I get on set, I am ready to roll. Because it would just make your job so much easier when filming day actually starts. Location is everything. Honestly, you want to give the audience a place where they want to be. Uh, and like you can actually put your actor in a setting and say the same line the same exact way and have the same exact framing and shot and it'll look completely different. It's great to have inspiration from other artists, other directors. Whether it's filmmaking or making music or painting, it's good to see other people's works so you can draw from what their strengths are. Definitely take constructive criticism, but in the end you have to make sure that your work is your work. And like every cliche Dove commercial, be true to yourself. Because art itself is subjective, and filmmaking is a kind of art. So even if you listen to that one person and all of their suggestions and you made that movie absolutely perfect for what they said to you, you're going to show it to someone else and they're going to think it's crap. And it doesn't matter. In the end, it's your work. So don't pretend to be something else. I mean, everybody has inspiration. And you have to be happy with it yourself. You have to make sure that your story that you're telling is true to itself. Another thing you need to know is learn how to treat your actors. I would just like to stress that just like not everyone is going to know what you're thinking. We like to think that everybody thinks the same way as us, but we don't. Well, they don't. So make sure what you're trying to say or what you're trying to direct, make sure the message is clear and concise as well as polite. I want you to take off your dress, fold it up and put it on the bed, and then I want you on your knees. <laughs> I'm not into that kind of thing. I didn't ask. I know a lot of filmmakers that are just starting out that don't know how to interact with actors because maybe they just haven't done it before. A lot of the times you end up working on projects and you use your friends and stuff a lot who aren't really actors. And when you actually go with working with real actors, it's a lot different. I would just remind you that they're not just set pieces, that they're an actual human being. What? So treat them as such. Because I think we just get carried away with the goal of finishing a project and we trample on others to reach that goal. Nah! That just got really deep. The other thing, I mean, just actors need constant feedback because they can't, they're not watching themselves. Uh, if they're doing something wrong, if they're doing something right, they need to know. Most people will tell you that story is the most important thing when it comes to filmmaking. They are right. But over the years, I have learned something that is just as important, if not even more important, than the story itself. And that's how you tell it. You may have the best equipment, and the best actors, you may have an awesome budget, but, and you may even have, like what Sean said, 
a great story, but if it if the execution is terrible, it's gonna be terrible. Even from the beginning. With the script itself, you can have a good story, but you need to make sure that it is being told at a good pace, that it's being told in a very compelling way, that the dialogue flows well. I would even go as to say, even if you have a mediocre story, but you direct your actors and you film it in a way that really compels the audience, you can take that mediocre script and turn it into something great. So we hope that this video was helpful. And make sure to subscribe to Sean's channel if you want to learn more about this stuff or if you're just interested in movies and filmmaking. Because I know Sean was helpful, but I don't know about me because I don't know much about filmmaking. But I tried. And the, that the thought matters. That's... I don't know much about YouTube. But I do. We're perfect for each other. <laughs> subscribe to Randy. Because I'm awesome. And I'm funny. And single. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya.